all right welcome to another video on this channel in this uh, video i'm going to show you how to accept uh, paypal payments in your e-commerce website so i'm going to show you how to do that by integrating flutterwave with your e-commerce website and that way you'll be able to accept payment from anybody in the world through paypal even if you don't own a paypal account so now let's get started All right, so PayPal is one of the best ways to accept money on e-commerce website, but in Nigeria, we can't accept PayPal and many other African countries. So, but now with the help of Flutterwave, now you can accept payment on your e-commerce website by using the Flutterwave plugin. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So there's a link in the description that will show you how to register, create an account with Flutterwave. So you can watch that video and I'll show you and learn how to do that. So now I've created an account and now we are going to log into, into our account and in your account, you there's a place to create a link. If you go to uh, links, then you can see you can actually create payment links and use that to accept payments on websites. But on an e-commerce website like this you can create individual link for each product so the best way to do that is to integrate flutterwave into your e-commerce website that way you'll be able to create automatically create individual link for each product so we are going to do that on this uh, store.netplustraining.com so if you log into your back end go to your dashboard and go to plugins so we are going to download and install the WooCommerce plugins. That's what we are going to use. And after installing the WooCommerce plugin, you just click on plugin and find the WooCommerce created by the automatic team. Make sure it's the automatic team. And you just type WooCommerce in your uh, plugin area and install it. So type it here and then find the WooCommerce by automatic and install and activate it. So if you have a very large business, you, you should get these other ones, the WooCommerce shipping and tax by the same automatic team. So you can download that also. You don't actually need all this, but if you have a big website, then you can do that. Then the Facebook for WooCommerce, you can also install and install that it's important if you are doing a lot of adverts and all that and also the google as a marketing by the clicking by clicking or clicking team you can also do that i'll put a link in the description if for you to get all those so after installing and activating that now we go to woocommerce on the left then you see settings click on settings and now we are going to set up our accounts and link it with the flutter wave uh, our flutter wave account so if you go to account settings this is where you can actually set the payment type that you want so if you only want to accept paypal for example you can check paypal and then you can see there are so many enable card payment enable paypal and so many other payment type so if you accept all this if you want to accept all these payments type including the paypal we can check all of them so we're going to use the web also to link to our website. So go back to your website and go back to WooCommerce settings. And under the general, you can set up your name and address. Those are pretty straightforward. Just the currency you accept. So if you're going to accept PayPal only, just choose US dollars. And uh, your name, your address, the postcode, all those are your personal uh address and uh, details so the product also the shipping you can set that but the main thing is the payments tab this is where you set up payment so and you can see you can accept direct bank transfer and those other details so you can just check rave and that because you have already set up all the payment types so that is enough you don't even need to check the other ones so just check Rave and turn off the other ones. Then Rave has card payment depending on your settings. So 
make sure you check that and save and then go to manage go to manage and here is where we we'll set up the integration so make sure enable uh, ray payment is checked then other things you can just check them then the webhook you can copy that and then go to your account and under webhook you can see url just pasted there and for the super ash then just copy whatever you see here sometimes it will give you something a little bit different and then there will be something like uh if you over over on the right it will tell you what to add but for me this is what i added so just add that and click save and if it's okay to tell you webhook edited successfully now you've been able to integrate that so the other thing you need to do is make sure that you actually test it so you can test the the test key so you can just go to test mode and you copy the public key and the secret key so make sure you check that so to test the to test the test mode first so just copy that and go back and then you see the rave test public key so paste it there then for the secret key copy that also and you paste it there then we can just go down and this is for the public one live public one we'll do that later then if you want the pop-up to be on the website or you want to redirect after people click on pay you can just choose anyone you want for now i'm going to leave it on the website then for the payment options i could just leave it as the default if you want card only or other things just do that and save and now let's refresh and now let's select a product on our store and click on add to cards and now view Let's view the card and then let's proceed to checkout. So when you proceed to checkout, you see uh, trusted by Flutterwave, and then you see the price all in USD. Uh, and uh, you will let's test it out. First name, last name, country. So just type. Let's just put anything. New York. The phone number and whatever details and click on place order so when you play when people place order then on this page they can either cancel or make payment so of course let's click on make payment and here is what they will get they will see the price and then they will have option to pay with paypal and of course like i said if you want only paypal make sure in your account settings you only select paypal so now people can easily click on paypal wherever they are in the world and now you can see proceed to paypal and now they can pay with paypal so once they click on that enter log into your paypal account pay this will finally go away and now the money will reflect in your flutter way account so it's very easy for you to set that up like i said go there's a link in the description for you to uh sign up so now once you're done Go to the account then you'll be able to see all your transactions then you'll be able to download uh, your transaction details and some other things like that and then under balance you'll be able to see your balance at any time so once you test it out then you can click on the live mode and now you can now copy the live mode uh, keys and make sure those are the active ones and you copy the public key and the secret key go back to your WooCommerce and paste it there. Of course, remove the test ones and uh, paste the live public key and the live secret key and then you save as, as easy as that. So now you'll be able to accept payment from anybody in the world, no matter what you sell on your website, whether you're selling your, your local uh, um, art or whatever, now it's possible for you to accept paypal payments from anywhere in the world by integrating flutterwave with your e-commerce website through the woocommerce plugin so uh like i said 
There's a link in the description. Go there and make sure you sign up and uh, watch that video on how to create an account, create a business account, and how you can start accepting payments. So I hope you like this video. Thank you and bye-bye.